Yeah, so today boys and girls, uh, ladies and gents, we're going to uh, an old favourite down here in the harbour. I got my uh, my Exist uh, today for Christmas and also a, a Samurai Reaction running off a uh, 8 pound Sunline and I've got a 16 pound leader today because of getting off the rocks and I've been broken off a few times uh, down here in the past so we'll see how we go today and hopefully give you a bit of action it's an off time favourite been coming here since I was 15 I'm now 60 good performer sometimes we have to get there is the hardest the hardest bit so you know you've got to know where to actually go in and uh, down here because it's dangerous okay just be careful of your rods you know, going down here all the way so we've got all this so yeah so we were walking the rocks now we walk down through here it's a low tide which is good it gives me plenty of access to where I need to go and uh, so yeah, I haven't got rock cleats on today. Don't need rock cleats. Uh, I'm going on the sand. I'll be pretty, pretty careful. And uh, we'll take it on from here. We'll be fishing to a high tide, which is good. Time's about oh, quarter past six in the morning. So uh, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. And. Uh, I'll keep you. Yeah, when I fish these there. areas, especially the harbour areas, look at where the structure is, where the rocks, where the rocks are, and where's a nice sand gutter. And again, this feeders goes to the all the way through here, off to the beach. And it's a bit of a transit transit lounge for a lot of Taylor, Trevally, and all that fish to come along through here and out into the harbour. So uh, we'll see what's around today. There's a lot of traffic on Sydney Harbour, a lot of boat traffic, a lot of kayak traffic, which uh, interferes sometimes with fishing these areas. I like to get here early and uh, and give it a throw. It tends to get in the way. Nice morning. Look at this, Sydney Harbour. Oh. Good place to watch the fireworks team. You come down here and uh, have a look. This is Sydney Harbour, New South Wales, Sydney. And we're fishing in it, hey? Who would think <laughs> you could uh, fish in a wonderful place like this? And you'll be surprised what we might catch here. You'll be very, very surprised. Yeah, so now I'm going to give it a, a, a double clutch. This is one of my go to lures, especially off these sand flats through here. Might have a bit of a problem to hook up just along here with the kelp, kelp bed. But uh, we'll see if this produces. Again, I'm running an 8 pound sun line with a 16 pound leader today, uh, just because of what I've caught here in the past. Uh, normally I'll run 8 and 8, but uh, I've just lost some big, some big fish in the past, um, just going through that line. And there's been a few chopper tailor, big chopper tailor being caught here. And there's nothing worse than losing a uh, $20 lure to a chopper tailor, for goodness sake. Nothing wrong with chopper tailor, don't get me wrong. But they're not my preferred species I'm actually going for. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll just uh, we'll continue on. But you can see here, there's the old Sydney Harbour. Great way for fireworks. And uh, we'll, we'll get a first cast in at the harbour. Half fireworks. Got the first fish this morning. Just a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a seaweed. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not, not bad. So don't, don't be scared to get out in the water, guys. You know? Why? Look at the amount of distance I've got through here. Look at all the territory you can go to. Good action this rod. 
filling every bump. They say work the structures well. It's amazing that the, we're out with the structures now. <laughs> oh, it's about uh, three foot of water. See, they're getting my, my casts. Look how far away from the here I am, and just casting out into the into the main thing there. But the, normally you'd bomb all these places here for brim and high tide, etc. But the, we're out here with the pixies now, so we'll just keep on going and see how we go. Yeah, top day in Sydney Harbour. Great day. There's a bit of a stingray there going through here. So a bit of movement. That's how some of the rays are around. Okay, a kelp bed through here. Again, great for losing lures, especially $40 lures. More stingrays around here. So we've got to one or two, three or four stingrays here now, which is, you know, that's, a, that's the start of a bit of a sign, a bit of movement in the water. Some people say they're curses. Um, but uh, no, I think it's a good sign because they're on the hunt for fish just like we are. Just run out all the way through. You can see that beach along there, you know. Um, yeah, not bad at all. So now, now, now we're up to, we're, we're quite away and I'm up to my waist. I'm six foot, six foot four. I'm up to my waist in water. Uh, not a drama. Um, keep them going. Another ray. Rays coming in everywhere. We'll see them rays. Well, there's the ray. You're getting a bit of distance out of this. Uh, yeah, not, not overdoing it. Just flicking it about 30, 20 metres. Just working it. You actually see the action of the uh, lure going out of the sand. That's the bib hitting the sand and pushing it up. Hopefully it'll be a flathead or a little brim trying to uh, pick up on it. Yeah, pretty wrapped with the uh, reaction and the uh, the exist. It's 2,500. Uh, the reaction Samurai, really, really good action. Fishing a bit heavy with it today, but uh, my first time out with it. And... Uh, Beautiful Sydney Harbour here. A few boys there just wanted to get out and give it a go. Um, up near the, um, near the second structure now. There's a beautiful houses here yeah, around us. Just because there's beautiful places, guys, doesn't mean there's beautiful fish. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so keep on giving it a go. Now. So I just chucked on that one through here. Throw my lure, but it's that's, that's a good it's a good sign that we just had. I think it was a flathead. Just just take it just through here. So I'm gonna just bomb back there again. Normally when you drop a flathead, they come back again. So we'll just see. It's a shame. We'll just go again. I'll we'll just like, see. Uh, everything's waterproof. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. In there. Got a bit of got all those lures in here. Got my LV bag. See, but then I can just uh, dip it open and just uh, have a look. All secure. So, so I just might now use, uh, I might go use one of these Samarkis now. We'll just see if we can have a bit of action with that. Of course, it's all been quite, I had one hit on the uh, double clutch uh, but that's about it We've been going for about 12 15 minutes now for that one little take so we'll just go through a bit of a soft plastic now we'll see here we go so this is just a, uh, a little outing for me just after Christmas to try the new gear and uh, yeah pretty ha pretty happy with it so far don't know where my mate's gone said it'd be here at six o'clock and now it's about uh, quarter seven uh, yeah, I use my teeth still. I'm old. See the bottom there? That was a uh, a double th this morning, and something's gone. It I think I chopped a tail or actually broken that that bottom bib off. I'll have to actually change that now for replacement. 
Look at this healthy structure. Look at this sea, sea seagrass here. Look at that. You can't tell me Sydney Harbour's not pumping. Pretty good. Go back out now. Gonna put a vibe on. Uh, now, if I cross over and see what's uh, happening out there on the vibe land. It's a little uh, echo gear. I like the echo gear. 35 mil. Anything around there should take it. See, uh, okay, we'll see, how we go. see how we go. A slow morning. Now, okay. What do you think it is, too? Very big. Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's a nice little brim. Hey. Let's have a look at this one here. Let's have a look. He picked it up nicely. Bit of colour there. All the way through. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Nice Sydney Harbour brim. Here we go here. Okay. So we got through here. About 30 centimetres, not bad. Oh, good in the hood. Those are all uh, good colour. <laughs> they need a bit of shells and uh, other stuff in through here. But not, not a bad fish. Good one. Now I've dropped down to a uh, 10 pound litre and uh, my, my braid, and I automatically got that, uh, that brim. So it does go to show that sometimes the leaders, you know, the more subtle the leader, the, the, the better the fish. I use the 16 because of the green toads and the big toads and puffers that we get here a lot and the tailor. Uh, I did drop a, uh, something big on my double clutch, which broke a, a barb off the, uh, the back end. Uh, dropped that. But then because it's very, very, very light conditions, I've dropped down to 10, 8 and 10. Uh, I've got my red bone on, which is a Z-Man lure with a 1-8 jig head. And we're just pumping the edge of the, um, the kelp beds through here. Uh, slow morning, but uh, we're out having a go on Sydney Harbour. Look at those magnificent boats there, guys. You reckon uh, a poor bloke with a, a little squidgy and a fishing rod could get one of those? Probably could one day. Where's that lotto? Look at that town over there. Look at that Sydney. Fishing in Sydney Harbour, pristine water, look at that, eh? Fantastic. We'll be dead for quids. Yeah, a lot of people come down to this area through here and work that sand flats down along on Rose Bay Beach. Years ago, it used to be productive. We used to go prawning down there, say in the 70s and 80s, <laughs> when uh, probably the harbour wasn't as clean as it was now. And um, yeah, interesting. So, but I've never had much success there. The uh, I think the tides and all that stuff there really destroyed the um, the weed beds along there. Used to be really defined weed beds uh, along that beach, uh, but the sands now cover them all up and um, has decreased in its capture rates. And everyone goes down and flogs it. Absolutely flogs it. Everyone goes and flicks off the low tide off the drop off down there and has a look and. Uh, you know, there's some other places just around that it's just as good. It doesn't get as flogged as hard as it, uh, it does. Two friends are down there at the moment, Craig, CJ or Craig and his, his son Ben. They're down there, the two wading out through there. Don't know how good they're going. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll catch up later on and uh, we'll <laughs> see how they went. Let's just get up on that rock now. Good kelp bed there. We're walking along here, not too dangerous. We'll continue this pathway just along through here now. See if we go getting a bit deeper now. So I'd say it was about three to four. We're heading around to a place so now we're moving on. Uh, where we'll get to be quiet on these uh, sand flats today. I'm going to go a bit deeper, just where some more kelp beds are right in the corner. 
and um, see how we go now. Walk around, gotta be careful, guys, of the uh, the moss here. It's really slippery. Make sure you don't step on that. You know? All good in the hood. We go past here. We we'll jump down in through in the water and uh, go up a little rock shelf here all the way. Get down here. Said, we'll get here for a while. Get a walk around here slowly. Keep on going here. Walk around. Ah, oh, the good old Ray, eh? Oh, the eh? ones you want to get, but... Ah, well, mate, at least you're getting, at least you're getting a bite. That's the main thing, eh? Yeah, you lost something big over there before? Yeah, I got smoked just on that corner there. Yeah, there's a few salmon. Oh, is there, yeah? There's a few salmon that's gone right in there then. So, uh, yeah, but all, all good in the hood. No, no, it's always, always a bit of fun, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, the wind's come up. So keep on going through here. To a fish. Just off this drop off over here. See how we go. That's my uh, little catchphrase, isn't it really? See how we go. <laughs> see how we go. We'll see how we go. You know, I haven't got rock cleats, guys. Uh, I just got the Croc sandals on. You know, I know all the purists out there, or you'll need uh, rock cleats, Peter. You know, why aren't you wearing rock cleats? But it's pretty sedate here. Uh, it's not slippery. When I do go rock fishing, I do wear cleats, team. I do all that. I do the right thing all the way. But um, today. Okay. Uh, we'll call it nice stumps for today, so it's a, a two hour, two and a half hour session. Uh, I'll go to another location, a bit of surface poppering now. Uh, yeah, wind's coming up, a lot of uh, traffic around with kayakers and boats and everything like up there. And this is a notorious spot for, uh, it goes flat, it just goes totally flat and there's nothing, nothing there. There's no current movement. It's just a little salmon pop on the surface. Um, species I'm looking for. Not here today, but look at that view. How good is that? The view there, we have a rod, with a blade, where it exists. Here's to you, Australia. Here's to you. Oh, so the best part about uh, going to the place is now getting out. So we'll just uh, walk up here. And we'll get another spot. Good place of work watching fireworks. If you can get here, team. But uh, good luck. We got thousands of people here coming down. Trying to get a, another spot. They're really trying to get this overgrown here so people don't come here anymore. <laughs> well and truly, aren't they? Look at that. Anyway, it's good to let everything grow over the top. Discourage people from coming down here. Locals know, but we know. Oh, the old hardheads.
so now I'm tired.